Iran's army test fired a sophisticated short-range missile on Sunday, state media reported. The report by the official Erna news agency quoted the chief of the army's ground forces, Gen. Kaimers Hadari, as saying that the missile's range was 300 kilometers, 186 miles. Gen. Hadari said the smart missile is capable to work under any weather condition. He did not say where the test took place. Iran's National Army controls short-range missiles, although longer-range ones capable of traveling up to 2,000 kilometers, 1,250 miles, far enough to reach archenemy Israel and U.S. military bases, are controlled by the paramilitary Revolutionary Guard. In a parallel development, Deputy Chief of the Army Administration, Habibullah Sayari told Erna that Iran and Russia would hold a joint naval drill in the northern part of the Indian Ocean in the near future. administration. Sayari said the drill was aimed at reinforcing security in the region. This is the second such drill since 2019, when the two nations held a four-day exercise alongside China's navy. Tehran has been seeking to step up military cooperation with Beijing and Moscow, while under U-led sanctions. Visits to Iran by Russian and Chinese naval representatives have also increased in recent years. In recent months, Iran has increased its military drills as the country tries to pressure President Joe Biden to re-enter a previous nuclear accord that his predecessor Donald Trump abandoned. Biden has said America could re-enter the deal. On Thursday, the Guard conducted a drill near the Iraqi border using drones, helicopters, and tanks. Trump in 2018 unilaterally withdrew the U.S. from the Iranian nuclear accord, in which Tehran had agreed to limit its uranium enrichment in exchange for the lifting of economic sanctions. When the U.S. then increased sanctions, Iran gradually and publicly abandoned the deal's limits on its nuclear development. Iran's Revolutionary Guards test fired ballistic missiles against targets in the Indian Ocean as they wrapped up a two-day exercise, their official website reported Saturday. The missiles of various classes targeted the enemy's battleships and destroyed them from 1,800 kilometers, 1,125 miles, away, according to the Sapanu's website. The missiles were fired from central Iran with the targets located in the northern Indian Ocean, the guards said. A video released by state television showed two missiles being launched and targets being hit at sea. Iran's armed forces chief of staff Major General Mohammad Bagheri was present on the second day of the drill, alongside Guards Chief Major General Hossein Salami and Aerospace Commander Brigadier General Amirali Hajizadeh. Using long-range missiles for maritime targets indicates that if the enemies show any ill will towards our national interests, maritime trade routes or territory, they will be targeted and destroyed by our missiles, Sapanu's quoted Bagheri as saying. We do not intend to carry out any attack, he said, adding that the exercise showed Iran's readiness to defend itself with all its strength against any aggressor. Dubbed Great Prophet 15, the exercise also featured a drone attack on a missile defense system followed by the launch of a barrage of new generation surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missiles. The war games come at a time of rising tensions with the United States in the final days of President Donald Trump's administration. It was Iran's third military exercise in less than two weeks after a naval exercise in the Gulf of Oman on Wednesday and Thursday, and an army drone drill on January 5-6. The exercises started two days after Iran marked the anniversary of the assassination of revered guards commander Qasem Soleimani, killed in a U.S. drone strike in Iraq in January last year.
but Iran has long said it won't negotiate over its ballistic missile program, which is controlled by Revolutionary Guard Corps who report to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. After the cabinet meeting and media reports suggesting Tehran might be willing to negotiate over its missile program, Iran's spokesman at the UN, Alariza Mirousefi, made clear that Zarif was only making a hypothetical point. Iran's missiles are absolutely and under no condition negotiable with anyone or any country, period, Mirousefi tweeted. Iran's Wednesday missile test comes amid a widening crisis between Iran and Western powers and friction between the U.S. and its allies over how to deal with Iran. Last week, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps seized a British tanker in the Strait of Hormuz, one of the world's most vital shipping routes, saying Iran had been violating international regulations. The seizure was seen as retaliation for the British Navy impounding an Iranian tanker off Gibraltar just days earlier.